Game Tech's back to break down the tech that drives the games we love, and we're here today to explain refresh rate, demystify VSync, and talk about how FreeSync and G-Sync technologies have changed the world of PC hardware. And we can't have this discussion without dipping into the number one factor of gaming performance, frame rate. So let's get you in sync with these terms. First off, refresh rate is the maximum number of times in a second that a monitor or TV draws the frame data it's being sent, measured in hertz. 60 hertz is the standard refresh rate of modern displays, which means it can project a maximum of 60 frames per second. But 144 hertz monitors are increasingly common, and we're even starting to see 240 hertz in super high-end monitors. So, while 60 FPS is the gold standard for in-game performance, there is a noticeable difference as refresh rate and frame rate go up in conjunction. Not only does motion look and feel much smoother, you're literally receiving more frame data. It's a competitive advantage in first-person shooters, where split-second reactions and input tracking of your controls can determine who wins and who loses. Admittedly, there are diminishing returns as we get higher and higher. I'd say the jump from 30 FPS to 60 is more impactful than going from 140 to 240. But the biggest catch with any display is that your PC must be powerful enough to produce those high frame rates for you to reap the benefits of a monitor's refresh rate. A monitor cannot show what it does not receive. Which can also lead to the problem of screen tearing. It happens when the frame rate output of your PC doesn't match the refresh rate of your monitor. When these two are out of sync, the monitor can show data from two or more different frames at a given moment. And since monitors update the image vertically, the frame discrepancy will result in a horizontal tear effect when in-game objects or the camera moves left to right. To mitigate the effects of screen tearing, you have the option of vertical synchronization, or V-Sync. It limits the frame output of your hardware to your monitor, but there are many drawbacks that come along with V-Sync, and many of us prefer to leave it off. Input lag is the number one deal breaker, and you'll feel a delay with button presses and camera movement showing up on screen when V-Sync is on. In comes G-Sync from NVIDIA and FreeSync from AMD, both of which are adaptive frame syncing technologies built into specific monitors. Instead of putting the onus on your graphics card to match the display's refresh rate, the script is flipped. G-Sync and FreeSync monitors work to match its refresh rate with the frame rate your PC produces, up to the maximum refresh rate. This comes without any compromises in terms of in-game performance, since monitors with these technologies have built-in processors to execute the adaptive synchronization, thus eliminating screen tearing. Understandably, FreeSync and G-Sync are only seen in high refresh rate monitors, since it's almost a guarantee that frame rate will fluctuate when the bar is set that high. But this means you'll have to shell out the dough for these premium monitors, although prices are lower than they've ever been for this tech. Another catch is that since G-Sync and FreeSync are proprietary technologies, you'll also need a video card from the corresponding brand for it to work, limiting your hardware options. That all might be a lot to take in at once, so here's a quick recap of everything we've gone over. Frame rate, the number of frames per second a game is running, depends on your PC hardware and in-game graphics settings. Refresh rate, the upper limit of how many frames per second a monitor can project. Screen tearing, a horizontal mismatch of frames when frame rate and refresh rate are out of sync, apparent when objects move left to right. V-Sync, an option to limit a game's frame rate to the monitor's refresh rate, but results in input lag. G-Sync and FreeSync, proprietary tech from NVIDIA and AMD built into specific monitors that makes the monitor adapt its refresh rate to a game's frame rate. There's always more nuance when it comes to these technologies, so feel free to take the discussion to the comments. We've also dug into anti-aliasing and its various methods, so do yourself a favor and check out that video. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to GameSpot for more game tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.